Hi everyone, today I just wanted to give a quick walkthrough of the major steps on how to remove your headliner. This isn't going to be the typical super detailed tutorials that I do, since I won't be removing mine today. And I did this a couple years ago, and it was quite the hassle. Although I'm saying this, it is quite an easy process, except for one difficult step. So the tools that may help you are various trim tools that hook and have a flat edge, a screwdriver, and maybe an extra pair of hands. Starting with a quick overview, let's start at the hardest part, removing the B-pillar. After that, everything else is easy. Remove the dome light, sun visors, then the A-pillar. This will be a quick run through of removing the parts, but I do have more detailed videos of removing the individual parts, which I will leave the link around and in the description. For the B pillar, take your trim tools and pull up and pull inwards from the top. I know I may make this look easy, but your results may vary here. Please check out my more detailed video on this before you attempt it. Next, wedge out your dome light. Then unplug it. After, take your screwdriver and unscrew your sun visors here and here. Do the same for both sides. Before we remove the last part and the headliner drops on your head, let's unlock the steering wheel and push it all the way forward. You can just leave it unlocked. Then move both of your seats all the way forward and lean it back. This will give you more room to move around the headliner once it drops. Moving on to the last piece, while holding up the headliner, pop the A-pillar out from the top and just slide it out. Do the same for the other side. Your headliner may still be between the weather stripping, but once free, we can start removing it from the car. You will want the headliner to exit the vehicle through the passenger door from under the dashboard. And it should come out diagonally from the bottom front to the top back. It may take a little finessing, but you shouldn't have an issue. Here's some bonus footage that may help you of me putting my headliner back in my car a couple of years ago before I started this YouTube channel. Well, I hope this video provided all the insight you needed to get this successfully done. And uh, thanks for watching.